If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, make sure to head over to utnice.com and use code CHIEF for 6% off at checkout. Now let's go ahead and jump right into this video. What's up guys, it's FIFG here and we're back with some more insane trading methods that can help you make a ton of coins on FIFA 22. So we got a bunch of different filters for you guys to try out today. And as we jump into this, all I ask is that you guys do please drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. So as we're jumping in here, there's quite a few filters that are actually going to expire soon due to the SBCs expiring. So these are really, really good ones to trade on right now. So that's what we're going to be diving into. And the first one we're going to look at here is League One players, specifically the bronze and silver cards. So if we take a look at these right now, these bronzes are currently selling for about 750 coins a piece and the silvers should be about the exact same. So those are both 750 a piece. Now the gold commons are up a little bit, but they're a bit cheaper than those. So we'll dive into that in a second. But basically for these bronzes and silvers, when you're selling at 750, you're going to want to pick these up for 600 or less. And you can do this both sniping and bidding. I find mass bidding to be kind of the most effective way to do this. But if you are able to snipe these cards, as you can see, they do pop up relatively quickly as I just missed one for 450 there. But when you're doing mass bidding, what I recommend is you could see I could bid like 150 on all these cards. What I recommend is just going in and mass bidding a flat price here, just bidding 600 on each and every one of these, the price you're willing to go up to, because then you can just kind of move on and snipe and do whatever without having to worry about bid on bidding on these guys again, getting out bid, going to your transfer targets and kind of wasting time doing that kind of stuff. So I definitely recommend doing that. And then you can do that on both your bronze and your silver cards here. Now, a lot of times you do actually get a market glitch as well here where when you search with a certain price parameter, not all the cards that should pop up will pop up. So if you search without any price specifications, you can see this guy should have popped up originally, but he didn't. And if we keep going, you'll see that with a lot of different cards. And so with this League One Silver one right now, it seems like there's someone that's bidding 650 on every single card. So I would have to check if that's kind of an appropriate price for me to pick these cards up at. Can I sell these for 800 a piece? It's going to take a while, so I'm gonna, going to avoid the League One Silver filter right now. So it's kind of little things like that to kind of adapt your filters that will help you make more coins like this. So for these bronzes, I want to pick these up for 600 a piece and sell for 750. And you can see this market glitch. Half these cards should have been popping up originally when we were searching, but they weren't. So we're going to go ahead and just bid 600 flat on all of these cards here. And you can see someone has already bid 600 on these, on some of these. So if you're able to get here early and, you know, bid 600 coins on these cards for the next 10 minutes, you're going to win 40, 50 cards really, really easily and make some super easy coins off the back of that so yeah mass bidding i think is really the way to go for methods like this now what you can also do is just clear your quality here so you're searching for any league one player and since these common golds are up in price right now you can see they're going to sell for 650 a piece here pretty quickly and let's check 700 if we could have a look so 650 is going to be the price they sell at you could snipe all league one players for 500 a piece here gold silver and bronze the golds you can sell for 650 as you saw there the bronzes for 750 the silvers for like 800 and make some really nice coins here now again these are going to be ones that are going to be hard to pick up sniping as you can see there's going to be a lot of cards popping up but it is going to be very very difficult here so it's worth giving a go if you've got good internet if you can hit those snipes but other than that, I would kind of focus on mass bidding for filters like this, especially those golds here are going to be next to impossible to pick up, but even late at night worth checking out and potentially there isn't that many people doing this filter. But on to the next one here, what we're going to be looking at is silver and we're going to be scrolling down to the MLS here. So right now these silver MLS cards are selling for about 400 coins a piece it looks like. Now, selling for 400, you only lose 20 coins on tax. So honestly, if you wanted to, you could just go through and pick these guys up for 300 a piece and just list them up for 400. You'd make you you're only making 80 coins a card, right? Which a lot of people would be like, "I'm not only going to make 80 coins a card. That's dumb." 
But if you take a look at this, look how many cards we could potentially win here. If I were to just win these cards, one, two, three, four, five, six, that is 480 coins right there. And I've literally taken 15 seconds to bid on those cards, make it 560 coins. And you just go down the list here, make it 640 coins. And you could just keep on going, bidding 300 a piece on these guys. And you're most likely going to win every single card here which makes it so much easier to get to make coins here if you're winning every single card but just taking smaller profits so i'm a big fan of this method here where you just mass bid one price that doesn't make you a ton of profit but over time you're really going to see your coins go flying up there so i'm a big fan of that right there now the next thing we're going to be looking at here is we're going to jump over to the edit easy here now, we take a look at these cards here. These are currently selling for these silver Eredivisie cards. Let's see, 450 for them. These are selling for 450. So I'd like to pick these up for 300 if possible, but 350 works as well. So let's go ahead and bid 300 on all of these and just kind of see how many we're able to pick up here. And again, we'll jump over to the transfer targets after this just to show you guys how many of these we've actually won in terms of all the filters we've gone through. It'll be interesting. And then after you kind of go through and bid on all these filters, once you see where you've won the cards, that's how you kind of adjust from there and be like, oh, this league is working, this league isn't working. And that's how you rock on from there is you just need to rotate through all these filters and find the one that's working best for you at that time. And even then, you don't even have to do one of these three filters. There's a video like every single day on filters that could help you make some very, very easy coins. So that's worth checking out as well there. So... I'll go ahead and stop there and just kind of see where we end up. How much are these bronze guys in the air to Vizzy going for? Let's take a look here. Let's go 300. So these aren't really going to be selling that well. You'd have to pick these guys up for 150 on bid and basically just insta sell them 250, which isn't the worst shout in the world. Even if you're picking up for 150 and just like using them in the SBC, if you're able to pick cards up for 150 here, that would be amazing and just list them up. But Let's jump over to the transfer target and see what we've won. We're currently winning 30 cards here. So you can see we won a French league. We won MLS. We won another French league. We got some Eredivisie cards here. We got a couple more French league cards. So we're making some really nice profits here. We've picked up quite a few cards here. So you can, if you don't have a ton of coins, go through and compare price on every single card here. Because some of these are going to go for different prices. And you can make a little bit more coins. Personally, for me, what I prefer to do is just kind of like quickly list them up for what I think their price could be. So these MLS silvers that we said go for 400, I'm just going to list the rares 450 because they could sell a bit more. And then these Eredivisie cards, I know they're all 450. I've picked them up for 300. This MLS common card, I know is 400 here. And you can see it's just very, very nice, consistent profits here. I mean, off of these cards alone here, we've probably made about 2,000 coins just like that off of these cards that we've picked up. Very, very easy coins. Very, very simple. No stress. Just sit here and bid on these cards i mean it's as simple as this boys i don't know what else to say let's go ahead and get these listed up and yeah i mean that's gonna be it for this video boys if you did enjoy it make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video